this is courtesy of people. This is definitely another case of, you know, hmm, if, you, if you're white, it's all right. Or definitely more so a case of, you know, wealth in America definitely goes a long way in terms of determining your overall prison sentence, right? It definitely does, especially when it comes to somebody who has a lot of brand deals and money on the line attached to their name and shit, innit? So this is courtesy of people. It says here, Drake Bell sentenced to two years probation in child endangerment cases victims speak out, right? For some reason in the US, I think in the UK, for the most part, if you have anything concerning kids that you're kind of alleged to do it seems like either it gets swept underneath the rug and people just try and silence the story but very rarely if it goes to the course you get away with it right for some for sure if you're doing your heinous crimes i think industries and sectors and people that we position can maybe protect you to to a certain extent but once the news hits the broadsheets hits the press hits the media hits the public consciousness it's very difficult for you to come out of it unscathed very difficult but in america for some reason whether it's you know bill cosby slipping out of the prison after slipping girls and mickey or district bell guy getting a two years probation sentence after messing around with an underage kid it just seems like if you've got money and access and good attorneys you can generally get off things that you shouldn't be getting off of like at all right it should be one of those things where suddenly if you get accused of something to do with children it's just it's a lock off for you but again this guy was able to kind of squirm out of this. It says the following, Drake Bell has been sentenced to two years probation after pleading guilty to criminal charges involving a minor. The actor born Jared Bell pleaded guilty on June 23rd to uh, attempted endangerment children, a fourth degree felony and a misdemeanor charge of dis dis disseminating matter harmful to juveniles during a virtual appearance on cleveland court on monday the 35 year old doesn't look 35 it looks very well here doesn't look 35 um but then i guess it's, it's the tricks they do in it they make him shave his facial hair um they put on a lot of makeup so he looks a little bit more smooth skin but i'm sure if you met him in real life he probably does look his age but you know they've got these little tricks that they do in the industry if ever year old was sentenced to two years probation and 200 years of community 200 years 200 hours of community service he was also prohibited from contacting the victim during the hearing bell's victim now 19 spoke publicly for the first time to read a full statement in which she called drake and josh alum the epitome of evil she accused bell of grooming her from age 12 again this isn't one of those kind of controversial ones where you know she was 15 but she looked like she was 18 12 years old is 12 years old i've yet to meet or i've yet to meet i definitely don't meet them don't bring anybody i've not met anybody but i've definitely yet to see a 12 year old that looks anywhere like an adult or anywhere close to being adult right 12 years look like 12 years especially well in the uk i don't know how it's in the us but for sure before you hit you don't really start looking older until you're over the age of 13 for the most part and you have a little growth spurt but usually under the age of 13 you definitely look your age so imagine somebody you know as old as drake bell was even at that time he was maybe what in his late 20s talking to a 12 year old like god damn he says here um i was 12 allegedly sexually abusing her when she was 15 she is her statement i choose to write this statement because i want justice to be served more than anything um the only thing um the only time that the defendant has appeared in court in person on june the 3rd for his arrangement which was before the media found out about the case um he has been appeared in court today over zoom instead of appearing in person this doesn't surprise me and shows the cow that he is but i'm not a coward wow well on her she detailed the pain Bell allegedly caused her. And I'm assuming his advisors probably didn't want him to go to court to avoid all those crazy press photos because they, because as weird as, as bad as the story is, because it's all been done under over Zoom and kind of been done, you know, in the confines of a judge's office or whatnot or whatever it may be and digitally or whatnot, it somehow kind of removed the sickness and the disgustingness and the horror of the situation, right? And because, again, people are generally worried about their day-to-day -day future prospects and, you know, furloughs and stuff are running out across the world. There's a spike in the variant. People are generally worrying about other things as opposed to concentrating on what Drake um, Bell is getting up to. So that decision not to have him appear in court physically might be a bit of a master stroke in terms of perception obviously he's guilty as fuck it sounds like it sounds like he's a complete creep and a monster but they really played the game well here by preventing him to go into court none of those crazy pictures of him covering his face being harassed by the press out outside going to and from his car it doesn't exist so it's very cleverly done in that way and as, as long as he's able to avoid getting in any kind of skirmish with, with those sort of um 
um, kind of a one man band paparazzi places like I don't know what they're called they're on YouTube right those kind of people that harass you with the camera and stuff as long as he's able to kind of not bite on some of the things that they say and kind of keep his head down he can somehow be able to somehow recover from this which is mad to think and you'd think usually anything concerning kids that's it you're excommunicated you're done but somehow he's been able to make this work for himself it's absolutely insane so this doesn't surprise me at all she continues says she detailed the pain that Bell allegedly caused her which she said resulted in panic attacks and nightmares she also said her parents have spent more than seven thousand dollars for her to get therapy she cashed the um what is it uh, the quote here he was calculating he preyed on me and sexually abused me she said alleging that this that he sent her photos of his genitalia he is a monster and a danger to children she concluded jared drake bell is a pedophile and this is his legacy Bama mia bell's attorney ian friedman said during the hearing that his client had accepted responsibility in this case so it accepted responsibility with via a plea however Ms. friedman disputed the victim's claim that she and Bell had a shame specific photos claiming that there was no such evidence so if there's no evidence why accepting the plea I guess because they put you in a corner and they basically tell you if you want to go to the courts and you know have this being judged in court properly with an actual um what you call it uh with everybody else I don't know what that panel is called whatever you call it, right if you want to go to it that way then there's more of a possibility of you being found guilty and maybe getting a more severe sentence and obviously going running out in a press but if you're able to agree with this stuff behind the scenes the defendants with the defense lawyers and the prosecution you can come to an agreement and basically kind of get away with it bill um bell issued his own brief statement to a judge before receiving his official sentencing he said i accept this plea because my conduct was wrong i'm sorry that the victim was harmed in any way but that was obviously not my intention huh eh? you know your intention is to talk to a 12 year old i would like to know exactly what the case i'm sure there's some details i'm missing out on this but from what it looks like from what i'm reading it looks really bad but i would like to understand why he would think it was a good idea or why how how he explains the way he's talking to a 12 year old but then again contact can mean anything right contact can mean if somebody left you a good message on your instagram and you replied to it that might constitute as having communication with somebody and then they took it to dm so you didn't know who they were, who they were. you just didn't get their profile you just kept talking and maybe that's the case but i just can't see a, a place a scenario where talking to a 12 year old in any kind of manner outside of just saying hi bye where's your parents makes any sense i don't see it but again what do i know he says yeah I, i'm sorry the victim was harmed anyway but that wasn't my intention i've taken this matter very very seriously and again i just want to apologize to her and anyone else who may have been affected by my actions the judge declared that bell did take advantage of the victim as she didn't have the emotional or mental maturity to properly engage in any other situation your position and celebrity status enabled you to nurture this relationship you were able to gain access to this child you were able to gain the trust of the child so it's a two-edged sword your position <coughs> sorry it says i'll continue i hope you're truly remorseful i don't know if you are <coughs> so even the judge thinks he's a bit of a creep the judge has got all the information he's read everything about the case back and forward uh, from the front to the back and even he isn't sure this guy is legit in what he's saying in a statement issued after the sentencing bell's attorney said today's plea and sentence reflect conduct for which mr bell did not accept for, did respect responsibility sorry the victim's allegations that went beyond that which all parties agreed not only lack supporting evidence but are contradicted by the facts learned throughout the extensive investigation as the court made clear this plea was never about sexual misconduct or sexual relations with any person let alone a mind so what was it about then what? sexual registration was not imposed as mr bell did not plead guilty to any such offense drake and his family are relieved to have this matter behind them he looks forward to once again performing for all of his supportive fans around the world <coughs> now that's the thing i'm generally not a fan of cancellation i generally think the idea that you know industries and labels and brands and uh, production companies and tv platforms can basically um decide very selectively to who gets a career and who doesn't get a career after a bit of a public scandal is of course um out of order because the rules don't always apply the same to everybody else so i don't believe in cancellation that way i only believe in cancellation in the idea of your fans deciding <clears throat> that something that you did does not vie or does not match or vibe with their morals and ethics and principles and i think you're seeing that a bit in like music pertaining to kanye west and that sort of stuff i think a lot of his fans by and large have kind of jumped ship based on his um endorsement or love of trump and some of the other things that he did <clears throat> during the period when he was acting out 
And I think that's okay. I think it's fine if the fans decided they don't want any parts of you anymore because of what has been alluded to in the press. But there's also this thing that I'm also a fan of is like, if the fans decided they want to support you, then you should be allowed to have a career. I don't think the venue should come in and say, no, you can't perform here, blah, blah, blah. I think if fans want to pay tickets to go and see you, which is definitely a hard thing to convince fans to do, it definitely separates the kind of, you know, the wannabes from the actual legit stars, people that can get people, you know, to uh, bums in seats, um, to pay the entry free to go into a venue. If you can make that happen for yourself, despite having such a heinous and disgusting crime over your head, and fans are also not aware of the crime and don't mind again giving you the hard-earned money and buying merch and listening to you perform on stage then so be it but unfortunately the world that we live in at the moment it feels as if like once you get exon not exonerated but once you get punished by the courts you don't exactly get the chance to sort of live your life it feels as if the media the press um parts of the industry decide to then um kind of pick up the mantle of being the judge and jury and deciding whether or not you can have a career again and that's where i think it gets a bit out of order because again he had a plea deal it's disgusting what happened but if his fans want to go see him you have to let it run you can't be as a venue then start preventing him from being able to put you know food on his table and support his family and all that sort of stuff it just i don't it just doesn't sit right with me but i do like the idea that fans decide hey we don't want you to have a career that I have no problem with actually going forward. Um, local NBC affiliate Cax previously reported that the incident occurred in December 2017, at the same time Bell was scheduled to perform at a venue in Cleveland. The incident involved Bell engaging in an appropriate chat with a 15-year-old victim that was at the time sexual in nature. Though he initially pleaded guilty um, to the charge, not guilty to the charges, sorry, following his arrest, Bell later agreed to a plea deal and said he was guilty of both charges. His attorney told the people at the time, all questions about this case will be answered by our sentencing, including why Bell chose to enter these pleas. List Less than a week later, Bell and Joseph Lamar revealed on Twitter that he is married and has a child. So why did he reveal? That's a weird thing. Isn't it? As that Kevin Spacey, after he gets accused of sexual misconduct with that guy from Star Trek or whatever, he comes out and says, I'm gay. He's like, yeah, don't worry, dude, we knew. So this is what this is kind of his um, redemption arc, right? He's going to post pictures of him and his kid and his child. The wife is going to get absolutely pelters on flipping social media. Like sometimes, sometimes being horny, like it has the price that you pay for being horny not only your relationship it, you know it gets completely you know destroyed and whatever it may be but it's the other people that it affects right that's what sometimes you have to be as a guy like forget the underage stuff of it because that's the nasty side of it but just in general being a pop star and being overly horny the damage it can do to your loved ones is just I think irreparable really isn't it really if you think about it because there's one thing your partner forgiving you for cheating you know everyone has their um their sort of um their criteria for things that will make them leave somebody i don't think it's fair to judge them in that way but it's just an unnecessary hassle and trouble that she's going to come in contact with, especially if he sees a well-known person i'm assuming drake you know this drake just guy definitely or drake bell goes definitely has fans or stands that know every intimate part of his um personal life so for sure they know who she is for sure they have some sort of engagement with her prior to these allegations so it's just a very unfortunate thing to be involved in especially for his family and friends that's not for him he's a piece of shit you know getting into contact with a 15 year old like i, I don't know i don't know again maybe because i'm older and i don't really understand it but i would never understand why somebody with the access to so many girls of age would purposely go for girls under age maybe again it's a kink thing maybe it's a um once you've completed all the levels of sexual pros promiscuity there's only kind of one other way you can go, right? Um, there's only one other thing that you can do, and that's maybe to start trying to approach younger and younger girls because that makes you somehow get weirdly excited. I don't really know. But either way, it's kind of gross, kind of disgusting, and like, you know, bury him under the jails, I say. Bury him under the bloody jails.